Hello there, how are you doing? Really, really well. I'm Machine Dana. Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up disconnection protection within the Twitch application to potentially allow your viewers to have a 90 second buffer inherently built into natively Twitch application, which allows a 90 second period of time where your stream will not go technically down. It will go to a kind of a, a screen, a holding screen and show your viewers like essentially that you're having some sort of disconnection problem whilst you try to reconnect your stream. It's really, really useful to have this just in case you regularly experience disconnection issues. Perhaps you've got an unstable internet, slightly weaker hardware or something like that, and you have issues disconnecting from time to time. I have got another video about setting up Streamlabs OBS and optimizing it for PC and for gaming and things like that. It's a four video series. I'll link those four videos in the description below. So if you are having trouble with the general settings for Streamlabs OBS, you may find that video useful. But of course, sometimes disconnections can't be helped and you've just got to deal with them. Having disconnection protection enabled just enables you to reduce the likelihood of the impact of that and losing those valuable viewers. Obviously, a lot of people are likely to bounce away from your channel if you disconnect. That's a fact. It does happen. Of course, you can chat to them in chat and ask them not to leave. Like, beg them, please don't leave me! <laughs> But the reality is some are going to leave, unfortunately. That's just how it works, okay? As always, if you find it useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to come check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana, you're more than welcome to. Come hang out. Come say hi. Come tell me all about your wildest dreams. And, and maybe just about your streaming experiences. Let's do this. <laughs> So just a little bit briefly about disconnection protection from Twitch. It's built in natively as a service from Twitch. And all it does is essentially put a holding screen up from Twitch whenever Twitch detects that you've had a disconnection. That just gives you a 90 second period of time where you're able to try and reconnect. And that's still counted as one stream from a Twitch point of view and a tracker point of view. And then it also means that your viewers are not going to be seeing like a stream ended type of screen. So we're here within Stream Manager. We need to go into Stream Settings here on the left hand side. They sometimes mix and match, change the UI here. So just search for the streamed settings because this is a core stream setting here. And under here, you've got this disconnection protection. Improve the viewing experience for your stream by enabling a backup in the event that your stream is disconnected. If your primary stream fails, automatically display a temporary visual to viewers for 90 seconds while you troubleshoot and reconnect. Note this is requires the use of a major encoder to work properly. They don't really go into detail here about what major encoder you need to have. But when doing a little bit of research about this on Twitch, and I'll link this article below so you can read a little bit more about it if you want. OBS Studio, Streamers as OBS, and XSplit are supported. So I think what this means is if you're running a really uncommon or quite rare streaming software or broadcasting software, it's possible that the software may not be compatible with this. So if you find you're having trouble enabling disconnection protection and it doesn't work for you, just make sure that you are on one of these three pieces of software that are clearly supported. They do say here that the feature is in beta still and that you can run a test of this. So of course, if you're not using using one of those three, you can try going live, disconnecting yourself from the internet and seeing what happens. So you can test this in advance, of course. They don't currently support a custom message. And they say here, if you don't connect within 90 seconds, your stream will just end as normal. There you have it, how you can set up disconnection protection on Twitch to hopefully retain more viewers in case you, on the rare occasion, run into some disconnection issues for your stream. Best of luck with this. Hope you find this useful. Hit the like if you did. Hit the subscribe if you want to. And have a great day. Take care. I appreciated that bit. Oh my God, here it is. Might not place this on him. Like, can I not place this down? <laughs> Why did I do that? What am I fucking doing? Oh my God, I'm such a fucking noob.